In the last video, I showed you how to do a t-test. In this one, let's talk about how to do a Cohen's D um, uh, calculation so we can get the effect size between the average values for two different groups or two different conditions. So I'm going to add the Cohen's D um, for this data set down here. Um, so we have our data at the top um, and down here where I'm going to put all of our, uh, our statistics comparing groups or comparing variables um, down here. So type Cohen's D um, and I've already typed out the formula and I have copied it and pasted it um, into the description below this video and I've already copied it on my computer so I'm just going to come up here to the formula bar while I'm in the cell I, where I want the Cohen's D to be and I'm going to paste it so control V will paste that in there. Um, so this is the formula for Cohen's D. Um, it's got a bunch of uh, names of variables in here in brackets so what we need to do is go and remove those variables and remove those brackets and click and add whatever variable it's asking for. So for instance right here it has within this bracket set group one average. So we need to remove this. So I'm going to hit delete, get rid of the bracket mark, uh, brackets as well. And I'm going to go and I'm going to click the average for my first group. So the positive family history of hypertension average is calculated right here. So I'm going to click that and that puts what I want in that spot. Um, so you can do the same thing in your spreadsheet after you've copied and pasted um, this formula in. All right, so this is group two average. So let's get rid of that with the brackets and click our negative family history of hypertension groups average value. Now over here we have group one standard deviation. Do the same thing. Here is the standard deviation for, for the first group. Um, group one standard deviation again. So we're squaring the standard deviation here basically. Um, go up here and click again and now we have the group 2 standard deviation twice because we're squaring that as well so get rid of that go to the, the negative family history of hypertension standard deviation and we're gonna have to do that one last time right here click again and hit enter now we have um, our Cohen's D calculated, so it's 0 0.329. Um, so this describes the effect size, so how much different the average values of these two groups are. Um, and so it gives you a way of sort of comparing on a little more granular level rather than just saying, is the p-value below 0 0.05 or not? Um, so you can go and look up um, some commonly used thresholds for saying there's a medium effect, there's a large effect, so on and so forth. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below um, or maybe just a, um, a citation um, for some commonly used uh, thresholds for, for Cohen's D and so basically assigning magnitude to the size of the Cohen's D variable. So now let's just make sure we have the Cohen's D calculated for all of our variables. So I, I clicked it, I went to where the little box was in the bottom right hand corner, so this little, this little box in the bottom right hand corner there, until my mouse turned into a cross, I dragged it across. Now our Cohen's D has been calculated for all of our variables. All right, so this was um, how to do Cohen's D, which often goes with t -test. Um I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna show you how to do a Pearson's correlation, because that's another common variable that, um, or a common statistic that you're gonna have to do. That's when you're comparing um, two different measurement variables rather than comparing the averages across two different groups though. So I'll show you how to do the Pearson's correlation as well as figure out the p-value for that Pearson correlation in the next video.